do you want to be like a pro in smear preparation it's quite easy if you follow all the instructions in this video carefully this is pratima and you are watching planet physiology blood smear preparation is very useful to find out percentage of various types of wbcs in the blood which can help in diagnosis as well as prognosis of the diseases observing smear can also help in finding out various types of anemias by observing rbc size shape and color it also gives idea about platelet count and presence of parasites like malaria as well in today's session we shall concentrate only on differential wbc count that means aim of this practical is to determine percentage of various types of wbcs in the blood this is one of the routine investigations for this we shall require clean glass slides lichman stain distilled water cedar wood oil microscope lancet spirit cotton and staining rag before starting let's see composition of lichman stain it has eosin which is acidic dye it stains all the basic components in the blood which includes hemoglobin and eosinophilic granules next component is methylene blue you can remember blue for basic dye it's a basic dye and hence stains acidic materials in the cells that is nucleus of all the wbcs and granules within basophils the third component is acetone free methyl alcohol or methanol it acts as solvent methanol helps in fixation of the smear to the slide this methanol does not contain acetone so find out and let me know in the comment box why methanol should be acetone free now coming to the procedure take four clean glass slides select a spreader slide and keep it aside how will you select spreader slide gently move your index finger along the edge of the slide and feel for the smoothness if the edge is smooth use it as a spreader slide now thoroughly wash the remaining three slides and wipe them dry by using lint free cloth please do not use cotton to dry them once cleaned do not touch their surface and place them on the working table it's absolutely necessary to make it sure that slides are very clean and grease free in the beginning so that you can get ideal smear so even if you are using new slides wash them thoroughly with water now take a bold finger prick with all aseptic precautions and wipe off the first drop allow next drop of sufficient size to form on the finger touch one end of the clean slide to this drop and place it back on the table in such a way that blood drop is towards your right hand side so i am assuming here you are right handed person repeat the same procedure for the remaining two slides now hold the spreader slide along its long axis in your right hand and place it by its width in front of the drop the angle of spreader slide should be around 40 degrees move the spreader slide backwards till it touches the blood drop observe that immediately the blood spreads along the entire width of the spreader once it occupies the entire width support the slide on the table with your thumb and index finger and move the spreader slide that is push the spreader slide towards the other end that is towards left end of the slide by maintaining gentle but constant pressure on it throughout the movement the movement should be in one go do not stop in between as you are moving spreader blood also follows the spreader slide and forms a thin smear allow it to dry naturally and observe it against the light note that smear has head body and tail and it should appear uniform so let's see criteria for ideal smear first it is tongue shaped with broader end at the head and it gradually tapers to form tail smear should be of uniform thickness it should neither be too thick nor too thin it occupies middle one third of the slide 
leaving about 5 mm margin along its length and there should not be any striations or windows in the smear. So if you observe that your smear has striations along the width, it indicates that smear was not prepared in one single moment. If you find striations along the length, it indicates edge of the spreader was rough and the presence of windows indicate slide was not cleaned properly, either it was wet or it has grease or oil on it. In all such cases, you need to clean the slide and prepare another smear. Ok, if you have ideal smear, proceed with staining. Initially, the smear should be fixed on the slide. For this, keep the staining rack on the sink and place your slides on it. Of course, with the smear facing upward. Now add Leishman stain drop by drop to cover the entire smear. Count the number of drops you have added and wait for 2 minutes. In some institutions, instructor will say you to wait for 3 minutes. So follow the instructions as per your institute's norm. In this 2 to 3 minutes, alcohol in the stain precipitates plasma protein and fixes the smear to the slide. So this 2 minutes time is called as fixation time. Make sure that your stain does not dry up on the slide during this time. If you feel it is drying, you can add 1 or 2 drops extra. After 2 to 3 minutes, add double the number of drops of distilled water on the slide and mix it gently either with the help of blower or with the help of dropper. Take care that water and the stain should not overflow. Now wait for 8 to 10 minutes and mix the contents regularly during this time. Also do not allow stain to dry on the slide during this time. Cells are getting stained during this 8 to 10 minutes time and so it is known as staining time. Let's see what is the mechanism behind staining. When distilled water is added to the stain, eosin and methylene blue gets ionized. These ionized particles now can penetrate the cell membrane, enter the cell and stain the various components within it. After 10 minutes, gently lift the slide, flick off the solution and wash the slide under gentle stream of the tap water until the excess stain is removed. It's always a good practice to open the tap first and control its flow rate. Then hold the slide under the tap water in such a way that water flows on the smear from your thumb. This prevents washing off of the smear due to water current. How long to wash? Till the drop flowing from the other end of the slide is colorless or you see that smear has turned pinkish. Now keep the slides vertical with the help of some support for drying. Once the slide dries up, observe it under the microscope. Many a times you find that while washing, your smear also washes off. What could be the reason for that? Either the fixation time is not sufficient, that means you have not waited for 2 or 3 minutes allowing smear to fix to the slide. So wait for the proper amount of fixation time before adding distilled water. Another reason can be smear is washed directly under the running water. The force of water may be stronger and the smear is washed directly under it. So wash it indirectly allowing water to flow on the smear from your thumb and the water current should be gentle. The third reason for washing off of the smear is smear is thick. Thick smear can be avoided by taking optimum amount of blood drop on the slide to make the smear. Usually smear becomes thick if you have a nice bold finger prick and touching the blood drop to the slide instead of touching the slide to the blood drop. So avoid this. In any case if the smear is washed off there is no other option. You have to prepare a new smear by taking all the proper precautions. So we have seen that we are using Leishman stain for staining the smear. So please find out what are the other stains that you can use for staining the smear. And another thing you can find out is what is buffered water and how it will be used in case of staining. So we shall stop here and we will discuss in the next video how to identify the various types of WBCs and count them under microscope. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.
If you enjoy my presentations, press the like button and share it with your friends. For more such videos, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.